ocean shipping. It's the lifeblood of our global economy. But today, the impact from global climate change is the most serious environmental issue facing our ocean waters. The shipping industry of the future is likely to be dramatically different from what it is today. Shipping plays an absolutely critical role in the global economy. It carries 90% of global trade. It's vital for the continuing prosperity of the developed world and also for the development of poorer nations. I mean, the lifestyle that we in the developed world enjoy is only possible through low cost and energy efficient ocean transport. As someone once said, without shipping, half the world would freeze and the other half would starve. Global shipping companies, shipyards, equipment manufacturers, and research institutions are at the forefront of protecting our ocean waters by constantly developing new technologies for greener shipping and sustainability and improving cradle-to-grave accountability of ships. It's obviously very important that the new vessels we build are energy efficient. We'll be operating them for the next 25 years or more. Cradle-to-grave accountability means reducing the life cycle impact of a ship by using an environmentally responsible yard to build it, operating the vessel as energy efficiently as possible throughout its service life, and then using an environmentally responsible recycling yard when it is retired from the fleet. It has meant a much needed partnership for some of the biggest players in the shipping industry around the globe to work together through a sustainable shipping initiative for shipping to contribute to and thrive in a sustainable future. As members of the Sustainable Shipping Initiative, we at Gearbook share a vision for 2040 in which success equals sustainability. It will mean changing to a much more diverse mix of energy sources. We must use resources more efficiently and responsibly in order to dramatically reduce greenhouse gas intensity. We also need to drive forward the development, the testing and take up of innovative new technology for both new ships like this one and also retrofitting of existing ships. Being a sustainable steward of the seas is especially important to the international shipping company called Gearbulk. As the world's largest carrier of aluminum products, Gearbulk's fleet of open hatch vessels with box-shaped holes is also the largest global carrier of wood pulp, as well as carrying other forestry products, steel and many more commodities. It requires specialized vessels designed for commodities that demand rigorous care requirements. Well, Gearbox specializes in tailor-made transportation packages for its customers for these commodities that require really a great deal of care and handling, stowage and ventilation. So our ships have specially designed box-shaped holes which maximize the cargo intake while at the same time reducing the risk of damage. A Gearbox is building even bigger vessels now, which gives economies of scale. So this benefits our customers, and it also benefits the environment with reduced emissions per ton mile of cargo carried. So when a new vessel enters the gear bulk fleet, like this one that is being readied for launch here at the Oshima shipyard in Sasebo, Japan, it is the product of a state-of-the-art building process, which incorporates innovative technologies such as flipper fins and advanced hull design with an optimized main engine to improve energy efficiency, as well as in-service use of operational techniques such as weather routing and ensuring return cargoes to reduce the ship's lifelong carbon footprint. We've got a number of new initiatives both for our new buildings and also for our existing fleet. The biggest energy loss in ship propulsion is the friction between the ship and the water as it moves through the water. So we now concentrate a lot more effort when our ships are in dry dock to return the underwater surfaces to their original smooth condition. And then we use a much better, a premium anti-fouling paint system that actually self-polishes when it's in service to even reduce that frictional resistance more. The ship you see behind us today has a carbon footprint per ton mile of cargo of about 40% less than the ships it is replacing. And our next series of ships which will be coming into service from the end of next year will actually approach 50%. Gearbulk strives for cradle-to-grave accountability, which involves using a technically advanced green shipyard like Oshima 
for the construction of its new ships. Known for its keen interest in recycling, energy savings, solar power generation, and future concept vessel designs, which might give 30% energy savings from current designs, Oshima Shipyard even plants its own olive trees and tends to its very own tomato farm. It's all part of being a true shipping steward of the environment. The symbol of our green, so it's, uh, all of our employees plant uh, every year, uh, and the, the tomato uh, is uh, the symbol of the co-existence uh, and the co-prosperity uh, with the regional community to our company. We're absolutely convinced that taking the sustainable approach to our business in the future, it's the only way to go. But we can only do this by teaming up with other like-minded companies such as Oshima we share the same vision. So at Gearbulk, we think we've made a good start and we hope that others will join us on this journey to put sustainability at the heart of our industry. Gearbulk and Oshima Shipyard share this vision for a sustainable shipping industry. And their newest ship is as much a vessel to protect the Earth's environment as it is a cargo ship to support our global economy.